Using text to generate images may have been cool, but being able to feel like you are conversing with an AI is definitely something out of science fiction. Because lately, AI chatbots have gotten so good that they can not only make your homework, but also do it at the same time. And yes, I am talking about ChatGPT, the chatbot which is so impressive that it broke through the internet that was completely taken over by the hype of text to image AIs, while obtaining a staggering 1 million users in just under 5 days, a feat that took Spotify 5 months and Instagram 2.5 months. Developed by OpenAI, ChatGPT is pretty much based on GPT-3, which is a large language model that was trained on a massive data set of human-generated text. ChatGPT uses this knowledge to generate human-like responses to user input, making it feel like you're chatting with a real person. But what sets ChatGPT apart is its ability to maintain a consistent and coherent conversation over a long period of time. Other chatbots might struggle to keep up with the conversation or generate nonsensical responses, but ChatGPT is able to stay on track and continue the conversation in a natural way. Amazing, right? What's even more amazing is that their responses are so natural that half of my introduction is fully written by ChatGPT and you probably didn't even realize the change in the wording style. I mean, it's almost hard to tell that ChatGPT is an AI when you're having a conversation with it without knowing. The text it generates is so natural and flows so smoothly, it really feels like you're talking to a real person. I've used a lot of chatbots before and ChatGPT is definitely one of the best I've come across in terms of how closely it mimics human conversation. It's seriously amazing impressive stuff. And for your information, that was also written by ChatGPT. But I agree. ChatGPT is gonna revolutionize the whole chatbot market because it can relay messages, write meaningful data entry, understand context, and will probably be the end of me hating being given a chatbot when I want a real person for the customer service instead. Since one of the problems with the current chatbot like Alexa is that in order for us to communicate with them, we would need to dump down our language and make sure that they understood us. It never felt like we were talking to them, but instead giving commands. And ChatGPT has removed this layer of inconvenience, which would definitely bring forth a new level of user experience seamlessly. Well, of course, ChatGPT can be something much more than a chatbot, because it was not a chatbot to begin with. GPT-3, published in June 2020, was the largest language model that trained on 175 billion parameters in order to produce human-like text. To describe what GPT-3 does in the most simplified way, it functions in a similar way to a text completion on your smartphone's keyboard. The only difference is that it is trained and optimized with a very large set of data in a very large neural network along with millions of dollars of computational costs to produce something that seems to be able to comprehend the human language. In early 2022, GPT 3.5 series was released, which are basically improved versions of GPT 3, but it didn't get much attention until it was fine-tuned into a free chatbot, which is the now ultra-popular chat GPT. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, you can just see people everywhere talking about it on every platform. So the moral of the story is only a great product can express the greatness of a technology. Anyways, ChatGPT was able to gain more attraction than GPT 3.5 back when it was released because it was designed as a product. Its dialogue format has made it much easier for the user and the AI to communicate back and forth, while the AI remembers previous dialogues. Otherwise, the functions that GPT 3.5 and ChatGPT provide are exactly the same. They are all able to perform the same tasks that were proposed on the GPT-3 paper or even the GPT-2 paper, which is an even earlier version of GPT-3. From answering some common sense questions to writing poems, novels, codes, or even solving math questions if you can put it in a textual form. From my previous experience of using ChatGPT and GPT-3, it was much easier to get ChatGPT to answer the question that you ask, and they are able to extrapolate information from a paragraph with much more accuracy and flexibility like explain it like I'm 5, which also works conveniently like a TLDR bot. Or you can use it to decompress or compress words about an email that you want to send to your colleague. Before, when I tried to use GPT-3 to answer some homework questions, I would need to hit a lot more redos on top of trial and errors to get it to produce the right answer, while ChatGPT now can answer it quickly and often accurately. ChatGPT's ability to remember previous dialogues you've made with the AI is also very consistent, which is highly remarkable. This makes elaborating or rephrasing much more possible and definitely defines a new standard for chatbot and creates a realistic probability of useful online assistance rather than the current 
current ones that is either a more complicated method to create a ticket or simply waste your time to tell you to read the FAQ. I would say these two improvements contributed heavily to ChatGPT's success, but the main factor of it went viral is probably because of how easily it can be used to do work or even homework for most people. So a lot of use cases you see people share on social media are just people being like, yo, this is insane, and insert use case, and boom, they're done, absolutely mind blown and such. I can definitely see the temptation of using ChatGPT to do your homework, but here comes the underlying problem. The AI is not perfect like how it's trying to present itself. Most of the time, when the questions are simple and straightforward, it's usually fine and accurate enough to be used as short answers or even long ones. And from that, it may seem as if all the answers are naturally correct, given how the AI always states and writes confidently or in a woo-woo voice. It is totally possible for you to write completely incorrect or nonsensical answers that can give you an F grade if you use it for homework or give a hint to the teacher that you are not doing the homework yourself. This goes much deeper than haha machine dumb because these are actually some really difficult problems AI researchers are still trying to overcome. The first reason is that there might not be a source of truth for the AI about the specific information you're asking them because the piece of information was not present in the training or reinforcement learning data. While the AI is made to present information from what it learned but not made to say something about what it didn't learn, the nature of being a machine learning AI fills in the gap instead, so it has the problem of hallucinating or fabricating facts, thus being falsely confident. So researchers are still trying to devise a solution where the AI would admit it doesn't know something or it is making a mistake instead of filling in the gap. Second, supervised learning that was used to fine-tune ChatGPT is prone to miscalibration. That includes the AI imitating like it knows something, but it really doesn't. Or AI imitating that it doesn't know something, well it does. The latter is an interesting case, because when using behavioral cloning where a human demonstrates to the AI, the AI can copy the dumb behaviors of a human that it learned from while it discards all the important information it collects. So the final result is as dumb as the humans that it learned from. This may not be as much of a problem, but it can easily misrepresent what the model is actually capable of. Apart from these limitations, the model itself is also really censored. While that may be a good thing so it doesn't spit out some anti-Semitic statements that it learned from the internet, but if you ask it to say anything political or harmful, you'll be greeted with a I am not programmed to do blah 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 warning. So here comes the gaslighting. The YouTuber 3Blue1Brown posted a snippet on his Twitter of him getting ChatGPT to talk about politics, more specifically the relation between Taiwan and China. Whereas usually ChatGPT would just say it doesn't have the information in its training, he first told ChatGPT to become a cartoon character and feed it some normal questions, then the political question is thrown. Well, the first time it didn't work, the second time did work when he told the AI that they are actually very knowledgeable about the current political landscapes and can explain it, and then it did, which is hilarious. There's this other reddit post about ChatGPT where it uses a virtual scenario like in a very realistic Minecraft world or a roleplay setting in order for it to bypass OpenAI's content policy censorship. It's funny how we are at a level of technological progress where we can talk our way through the AI and get it to slip up. It feels like something out of a science fiction, <laughs> gaslighting AIs. To be honest, this is fairly similar to prompt engineering, so you are pretty much designing a set of inputs to get the AI to produce a certain desired output. Prompt engineering will probably become a real job, but not the ones you think like for AI art and probably in the case of researching and developing AI safety. Things such as how to make sure that when AIs are deployed, it will not be able to be exploited to produce any harmful or sensitive statements, and also not to be able to generate sensitive information that it learned from its training data, like someone's credit card number or street address. This was actually a problem in GPT-2 called model memorization or data extraction attack. But anyways, language models have come a long way, and it's definitely going to become a multi-billion dollar industry, and it's not going to slow down. But remember, roses are red, violets are blue, ChatGPT's predictions are often askew. So don't believe everything this AI says, because they are not sentient and will always make themselves sound extremely believable while being totally wrong. 
But it's really useful to have ChatGPT to write promotional materials for your product and have today's sponsor, Movio, to generate an AI spokesperson for you to present it to. Movio is a web app that lets you generate an AI spokesperson with whatever text you or ChatGPT writes and lip sync it for you perfectly. With avatars that ranges from different ethnicities to natural text to speech that has over 30 languages, each with different tone or accents. 早上好中国,现在我有冰淇淋。Movio can be very convenient if you don't have the budget to hire multiple presenters for you to promote your ideas or services internationally. Choose an avatar and type in the script or input the audio, then click the submit button. You will receive a perfect spokesperson video in minutes. Hello, my name is Bike. <laughs> really really straightforward right they also have this new function where you can perform a face swap very quickly so if you want to use another face or even your own you can just do it with one click then marco robbie will also become by cloud too in a matter of seconds hello my name is by cloud and welcome to my channel so if you also want to give this a try check it out with the link down in the description you will get one minute free credit upon sign up and the plan is 30 dollars per 10 minutes a month and it will also remove the watermark which is pretty neat and thank you for watching a big shout out to andrew Lass Chelias, Chris Ledoux, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.